All I ever wanted was a brown skin girlfriend. Real class, gotta keep a happy rat. T in the gym bag. It's not even out yet. Wait, how she even get that? Hi everyone, I'm Alea and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm really excited because I'm going to be sharing my fashion trend predictions for 2022. I actually done this video last year and some of my trend predictions actually came true. So I thought it'd be fun to just do it again for this year. So before we get into this video, I just want to say I'm not a professional at all. I'm not a fashion forecaster or anything of the kind. I'm just really into fashion and these are just like some ideas that I've got from watching a lot of like fashion runway shows, seeing what like influencers and all that are wearing and celebrities. And so these things are just like some ideas of my own. So yeah, with all that being said, let's get into the video. So the first trend is cat suits and I honestly think they are going to be major this year. I actually love cat suits because they're so like simple and easy like they literally require no thinking at all you literally pick out a cat suit and then boom your outfit is sorted for the day love that and i absolutely love how versatile this trend is you can go really casual by wearing just a plain black cat suit and you know just go about your day running errands and that or you can really pop off and wear a cat suit such as like the Moo Glare ones or the Jean Paul Gaultier ones that we do and just make it more appropriate for like night time or for going out. So when you think of puffer material, normally what comes to mind is a big giant puffer coat that you wear in the winter, but this year we're going to be seeing it be incorporated into everything. On the high street in shops such as H&M and Primark, I've started seeing puffer bags and I actually own a puffer bag myself, I own a puffer tote bag, I absolutely love it, it was for uni and yeah, I do think that we're going to start seeing puffer material incorporated into pants, skirts, tops, literally you name it, puffer material, it's going to be everywhere and I think we're going to be seeing it a lot in the winter and the awesome time. Talking about materials, I think we're going to see knitwear pop off, I think we're going to see that incorporated into everything as well. So during the winter you've got your typical knit jumper, knit cardi, but I think we're going to be seeing more variations of knitwear, so I think we're going to be seeing more knit trousers or during the summer I think we're going to be seeing knit skirts or little knit short cohort sets. I can imagine a lot of Instagrammers to be including that in their summer wardrobe. So yeah, I think knitwear is going to be major. So with this next trend, I've already started wearing it and I absolutely love the silhouette it gives me. So I really hope it becomes really big this year. And that is just to do my pants or skirt to do my pants. With the revival of early 2000s trends getting bigger and bigger, I really do think this trend is going to make a comeback but with a modern twist. And luxury brands such as Louis Vuitton and Acris, they showed this trend during their spring 2022 ready to wear runway shows. And I really loved how they showed this trend because again, they included the trend but they done it in a modern way that looked very like chic and elegant and it just looked really like elevated compared to how they used to do it back in the early 2000s because back then it was a bit of an eyesore. And with this trend, I think the best way to go about with this trend without making it look tacky or just making it look a bit, just, you know, too much. I mean, you can never be too much, but do you know what I mean? Like we don't want to look like Ashley Tisdale from the early 2000s. So I think the best way to go about this trend is by wearing complimentary colors or wearing monochromatic colors. Another thing to, to think about with this trend is the silhouette you can really have fun and create different shapes with your clothes. And how I like to wear this trend is by wearing a midi bodycon dress with flared trousers. I absolutely love the shape it gives me. So if you kind of want to dip your toe into this trend, that's how I'd wear it. Flared pants with a midi bodycon dress. It absolutely looks lovely. And I think that silhouette suits pretty much every shape as well. So yeah, that's my little tip for that trend. Following from that, I think midi skirts are going to be a big trend this year. Mumium. I feel like I always pronounce that wrong. Mumium. Mimi. Mumium. I'll insert the name on screen. But they showed a lot of midi skirts during their spring 22 runway show and I just think they're going to have a moment honestly. And I absolutely love the length of the midi skirt because you can wear it in all seasons. You can wear it in the summer with a sandal or you could wear it in the cold month with a boot. I absolutely love it. But yeah, I think the midi skirt is where it's at. It suits most people's shapes. It's a nice length. It's comfortable to wear and overall 10 out of 10. Next up is oversized bags. I feel like the Telfar shopping bag was literally the bag of the year. 
literally every celeb had it. Megan Lee Stallion, Bella Hadid, um, Dua Lipa and honestly I feel like every streetwear influencer who I follow has got this bag. I also feel like tote bags became really trendy in 2021 so due to the Telfar shopping bag becoming too popular and also tote bags becoming very trendy I think big giant oversized bags are gonna be the thing this year and honestly I am so here for this trend. Big oversized bags are so practical, you can put all your stuff in it. You can actually fit everything inside. Like, don't get me wrong, I love a small little shoulder bag, but I can't fit everything in it. Like, they're just so impractical at times. I mean, they're nice for night out, but for my day-to-day -day life, I can't fit everything in. But yeah, I'm really excited about this trend. And if it doesn't become really trendy, I don't care. I'm going to wear big bags anyway, because they're just so practical. So, the next trend is feathers. Now, I actually predicted this trend for 2021, and... I finally started seeing it pop off here and there towards the end of the year but I think it's gonna become like a big thing this year in 2022 and I think we're gonna see this trend in a lot of outerwear pieces so I think we're gonna see a lot of like feather trimmed cardigans, feather trimmed coats, things like that. So that's it for this video. I do have more trend predictions but if I listed them all in this video we'd literally be here all day. So if you guys want me to do another one of these videos for like, I don't know, like each of the seasons or you just want to see a part two, please let me know. Also, if you have any fashion trend predictions, let me know in the comments below because I'm really curious around what they are and I would love to hear. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I also want to wish you a happy new year. Thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you very soon. So, bye for now. All I ever wanted was a brown skin, god friend. Real class, gotta keep a happy rat's tea in the gym bag. It's not even out yet, wait, how she even get that?